All right, so this is uh, the next part. Um, our first door is working, nice, and uh, we're ready to work on our next door. So we'll grab our next door here. In fact, let's turn off the gizmos. Um, we'll turn off the gizmos in a second. We need this sphere because I'm going to make sure this one's sphere is exactly the same. Um, so let's add our door script to it and you can see that it goes to the center when it's on open left that is because it does math to generate from the center point uh, of the mesh to the outside point and since our pivot point is on the side it, it's off and the only reason our pivot point would be off is because we need it to be off so um, if, you're pivot, if you're modeling and you forget to center your pivots uh, then that will affect the script as it needs to know uh, or as it's based everything inside of your model is based off that pivot so um, anyways so we have a pivot here and we want to use this pivot so I showed you all we have to do is click on use models origin and there we go we get it connected to the origin over here on the side and it's also going to open left um, because we're using the model origin open left open right open front doesn't matter because it's using the origin um, so I guess I shouldn't have said we're also going to use this because it doesn't matter at this point because uh, the origin takes over. So we want it to open at the same speed, which was 3. And we want it, let's go down here and change our size, range before opening. Let's make sure it's the same size as this one. This one size was uh, 2.5. So let's do 2.5. And now let's move it on the X so that it's pretty much, there we go, right on top of the other one. Perfect. So now we can go to the other one and we can stop drawing its gizmos. We don't need it anymore. So back to this one. Uh, we've already got it pretty much all set up, 90 degrees. Um, let's make it also open to any. Um, so uh, yeah, even at that I can... Um, yeah, I'll show the other stuff later. So let's also open it up to any. And I believe that's all we need to do, and we're done. So run it in and out. There we go. We got our doors already opening. So there's our custom doors opening on the corners. And uh, there we go. So these doors are done. I can even, uh, I can already just turn off these gizmos. We don't need them anymore and I can select this whole object and let's duplicate it so we don't have to reattach scripts or anything there we go put it on put it out a couple times so this door will have it open up for us this door we will have it slide so sliding is something else um, and let's add one more door just for demonstration purposes over here uh, so let's guess move these um, so they're in the camera if we ever decide to do something with the camera okay so now we have uh, our doors here and uh, set up and ready to go so let's choose the the door on the left and we want this to slide open we want it to slide out say we had a wall over here on the side so we won't see it slide through which is completely fine so let's choose slide on the negative x. Um, the red arrow is our x-axis and it's pointing towards positive so let's go on to the negative x is what we're going to slide and you'll see that once we slip switched out from open you'll see open has rotation amount and when you go to any of the slides like slide negative x it goes to slide amounts and I have tried this uh, so I know it's about one unit I can prove that by here it is on negative uh, 0 0.6 and if I move it it's pretty much negative 1.6 so it's pretty much one unit so we'll slide it by one unit and since we assign this as negative x that means we don't have to put a negative number here this is just uh, overall the distance that is traveling and its closed distance will be back at zero. Uh, zero Zero really in this case just means origin, where it came from. So zero is most likely always going to be the case for you. Um, but sometimes may not be for special effects or anything. 
So um, this one is not using the origin because we duplicated it over. So uh, everything seems set up. Uh, we don't have to reassign our sphere. If we turn on our gizmos, we see that it's already assigned. And we see this line coming out because I put negative x. It's telling you, hey, I'm going to move on this. I'm going to move this direction. So uh, if you don't know which way it is, it will point for you anyways. And let's make that opening speed is 3, so that's fine. We'll make it the same speed as the other doors. And now let's uh, turn off its gizmos. It's in the way. And let's slide this door. Let's go on the positive x by 1, same amount. 3 is fine. Um, there we go. Everything should be the same. Of course, except for the offset for the range. And uh, this one's using the origin over here. So that's good. Now all we have to do, um, we can play it and run in, but I want to show these sound effects. So I already have my audio here. I have close, so um, I'll just drag that on to closing sound effect. I have closed for when it's fully closed. I have open for when it's opening, and I have opened for when it's opened all the way, when it's fully open. So now if I... Uh, I turned down my audio. Let me turn it back up so you can hear it. I'll have the same sound effects. I take my sphere and I run it in. My sound effects are a little bit long because uh, they were recorded for these doors being at uh, uh, a speed of around 0 0.65. So that's what the recordings were originally for. So they're a little bit fast on uh, on that last play. So uh, you can see that's what they were designed for. So make sure to design your audio around uh, how fast you're making things. Um, so now we have our moving doors and we have our opening doors. Um, and let's make these doors uh, just to to show uh, we can make them come inverse like we did, like I did in the uh, in the samples. And I'm also going to make it open only. So once it opens all the way, it is done on both the doors. And we will open left, and we're going to open the opposite direction. So 90 and negative 90. So now if I hit play, you can run over there. They'll open up, and they're done. So in this uh, this one, we let's I'll show you that you can lock doors. When I try to enter, they won't let me enter. They are locked. They should open and close, but since we locked them, they will not open. So that's how you do lock doors. Let's experiment a couple more times on this door over here. Let's set its opens width only to a game object, and we have not assigned the game object. So if I assign it to the main camera and I try to run in with the sphere, it's not going to let me do it. So now if I reassign it, uh, sorry it was locked, so to show you the proper example, plus I need to put main camera on this door, opens with main camera, so now is the correct example. If I try to go through it, it's locked. It's uh, only opening to main camera, so I can't go through. That's good. So now I want, I do want to get in. So instead of having it assigned to the main camera, we'll assign it to the sphere here. So the sphere is the only one allowed in. Uh, so let's drag the sphere into this one's game object. Hit play. And now let me in. Let's me in. So now it will let me go through because I am that object. I don't have any scripts right now to show off the uh, opens to a specific script. So uh, when I come back, I will have a script prepared that will, I can attach to a sphere and show you that example. So uh, that was the, over and the next overview. So in the next one, we'll get a little uh, more on the uh, other options we have, the more specific options. So thanks.